welcome to External Star Channel. My name is Marek, as you already know, and today I will be unboxing and then reviewing this model 1 to 18 scale. It's called Delivery Truck Limited Release. It's actually 3000 pieces, limited edition. And let me tell you first how I discovered this one. So I was just browsing on Facebook when somebody, somebody posted a picture of this truck and I was so surprised because I have never seen any advertisement, anything like that. It's produced by a not so famous company and it's awesome. It's metal actually. It's very heavy. When I lift the box it's quite heavy and I actually liked uh, Fallout games so I played them uh, some time ago and I was so impressed because you will see what is inside and you will be so surprised so wait for it. Alright so first the box. You can see already the truck is here um, then here uh, it's the Fallout logo and actually when I move it like this it's produced by this The Want Company Real Hero Collectibles. Here is also uh, the trademark of the company producing the game, which is Bethesda, and there's an item number. It was produced in 2019, so it's quite new. And I ordered it like, uh, I don't know, a week ago, and it just came in, and I'm very excited about this one. Yeah. So also when I maybe a little bit move it here, you can see the back of the truck here. You can see also the front of the truck. Uh, right here and on the top you see this fancy picture of a woman from Fallout game and with some kind of gun and this helmet. All right so now maybe you know what is Nuka Cola yeah it's uh, it's a brand imaginary brand in the Fallout game series and it's something like Coke but it's uh, the nuke coke which <laughs> in the post post apocalyptic world all right so now let me just remove it out of the box it can be a little bit complicated so how to do it best i don't want to destroy anything all right so here we go and as you can see, there is also bottom of the car here <laughs> with all those details. There is the side view and there is also the top view. So the box is quite customized and I like it, like it so much already. And now let me see. Oh, this is the actual size. So it will be this big and I really, lo really love it already. It's not a real car. This is actually uh, a truck supposed to be from... 2062 so that's the year uh, in the game when this truck was uh, produced and now let me already see what is inside of the box so first okay we already have some things here so we have different brochures this is the Department of Massachusetts, Department of Motor Vehicles, 2065. That's the certificate of ownership. So I can also fill my name here, everything. Here I will uh, stick my uh, license plate and here do not carry in the vehicle and so on. So I will check this later. Yeah? We have also some other things here. Oh, there are batteries. There, there is a Nuka Coke. Nuka Cola uh, badge, but most important, the most important thing is in this box. So let me just take it out. It's so heavy, so heavy, guys. So okay, and there is nothing else. I can put this aside. And now we are interested in the content of this box. All right. So maybe let me first remove what is here. So what I can see here is actually it's not so easy to remove it but I have my scissors here so let's cut it let's cut it and this is some kind of some kind of badge it's a collectible probably you will not be able to get it anywhere else Oh, come out, come out. All right, so that's the Nuka Coke, Nuka Cola, and here 
you can, for example, put it to the shelf or anywhere else. This is what I will do. I will use it in my shelf as a collectible. So let's put it aside here. The other thing here is what else do we have? I think here we have the side 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 mirrors. Okay, so I also will use them later for, for this model. And this I don't need. And we have also batteries, yeah, so two or three AAA batteries, golden power, and these are probably not vintage, yeah, not from 2065 or 67. This is from 2019. Okay. And now the most important content here. Let me maybe just zoom out a little bit so that you can see the whole box. And okay, so what's the best way to do that? Maybe just make one cut here, yeah, and then remove it. I don't know looks like the best way how to how to open it there is actually no instruction no instruction how to open the box so i will just rely on my natural skills <laughs> oh my coffee my coffee it almost was spilled mm. All right, let's continue with this violent unboxing until the very end. So all the tape is gone, all the tape is gone, and now I can finally, finally remove the box. <laughs> I like those moments. This is always the best moment when I uh, remove the cover of the box. And we have another nice cover here. And just beneath the cover, wow, that's really something. Can I take it, pull it out? Yeah, there are no screws, thanks God. This company is great, no screws. And I think that's it. There is no, nothing else in the box, so I will just uh, put the box here and maybe start the review already. Okay, so let me just have a sip of coffee I needed. Mm-hmm. Very good coffee, actually. So good, and now, wow, it's, as I said, it's very heavy. This is metal. This is maybe plastic. It looks like plastic here, plastic, metal. Maybe this is, this is metal, metal. So there are many pieces which are plastic, many pieces which are metal, but it's completely heavy and I love it already. <laughs> it's so good. You can see that the, the wheels are turning, or spinning. Are there actually, can they turn? No, I, th I don't think so. The feature is not there. Okay, and... And what else can we do now? Yeah, so as you know, I'm usually starting my review in the front of the car. And this is what I will do now. So as you can see here, this uh, Nuke Nuka Cola logo here. So maybe the this is a company also producing cars. I thought this company is only producing uh, soft drinks, but actually, as you can see here, the logo is here. I I'm not sure if this is a logo of, of uh, the soft drinks or the logo of the car itself. Yes. Yeah, so here you can see a very nice sticker at the Nuka Cola. Also here the sign. I must admit it looks very much like Coca-Cola, but it's new Coca-Cola and I love it. Another great feature is here, you can see the cover uh, for the wheels, the second and third row of the wheels, it's covered here by this piece, so aerodynamic, yeah, you can see it's uh, the angle here. It's quite nice, and this is a nice feature. You don't see this on uh, contemporary cars, yeah, only on this one. This is great. All right, maybe let me already zoom in and continue here in the front. So some of the pictures that I checked online, uh, 
depicted that everything here would be only red, but then I saw some real pictures uh, from some fans already and saw that there is the black part. So it's not completely perforated, but they colored uh, uh, some of the parts here by black color. So it looks more like 3D and it's, it looks completely like it's perforated, even if it's not. And then we have the very nice headlamps here. Yeah, they are so unique, so big, look at that, it's and shiny. I love it. And probably uh, I also have the license plate, as I showed you already here, but maybe let me show you one more time. So here the license plate, which will go somewhere here to the front, and I will do it later. We have also the wipers, Very, they cannot be operated, but they are nice. And we have the nice uh, front shield here. Uh, and then I was quite curious. We have some details here. We have nice door handle, uh, separate piece, and then we have also here at a step. So one, two, and then there is a button here. I'm not sure why there is this button, but the good thing, and maybe maybe you have not expected that, but it's there. You can actually open the doors. Yeah. So let me uh, do the first attempt. I will open one. And also the second one, but very gently, of course. I don't want to break anything. Yeah. So the best way seems to uh, push your finger here and just you know pull it. Um, I'm not sure if this is the safest way because like you can break the glass, but it's the easiest way how to do that. There is no door, door opening tool like we are used to from some other companies. Okay, so now we want to check what is actually inside and. Uh, what are what is the level of details inside so i can show you right now uh, there is a steering wheel which you cannot unfortunately uh turn there are gouges and clusters and there is this bench uh for probably three people another door handle here and do we have the pedals I don't somehow see the pedals inside, yeah, so, but let me also check from the other side. Maybe we'll have more luck and see more details when we check from here. All right, so, no, <laughs> we are not anyhow luckier, but now maybe we can see more details, yes, yeah? so again, uh, we can see air conditioning, glove box, and actually, it's so, ah, now, can you see the pedals? It's quite difficult to zoom in this uh, light condition, yeah? So very much difficult to see the detail. But believe me or not, I saw the pedals for a moment. <laughs> okay, so uh, zoom out again. And another feature where I was, oh gosh, this was, oh, my phone was almost done. Yeah. So guys, what just happened is that the camera or the battery in this uh, device is just depleted. So what just happened that it almost fall down because it lost the balance. So I will hold it yeah, manually and I will try to finish this review even if uh, it's kind of uh not really convenient but i will do that okay so in the back uh believe me or not you can also open the doors and there is such a thing here which you can somehow remove and it's not really easy to remove it oh this door has three parts actually and i have only one hand available now <laughs> because the second needs to hold the phone okay so Look at that. What is inside actually? Nothing is there, but you can you can check that the door is very nicely done. So as I said, it's uh, maybe let me pull the camera a little bit. Uh, so there is this left wing, right wing and also this bottom of the of the car. So maybe what I can do is that I will buy some new Coca Cola 1 to 18 bottles yeah to make it really complete and then i will just put them inside of this car to make it really great and what i also like are all the different lights here so for example here you can see that there is this uh, reverse light so when the uh, 
car is uh, in the reverse mode and then there is also this red nice light very much reminding me of the front light uh, very similar design and then there is this uh, piece here for the license plate so this is where I will put a sticker yeah amazing so this is actually a very nice new Coca-Cola uh, truck which I love already so much yeah, I, I will display it somewhere and what I can do also is maybe to to bring uh, the last model that I reviewed the Cadillac Escala and just put it aside to compare the size of those two cars yeah so give me a second I will I'll be right back Okay, here we go. So this is the Cadillac Escala 1 to 18 scale and behind you can see the truck which I'm just reviewing. And actually this one was a very successful review video. So you liked it so much and it has already so many views, like thousands already. And yeah, so <laughs> it's a little bit ridiculous to compare a uh, imaginary truck from a, a computer game to a real concept which was created by Cadillac so but just to compare the size I think it fits very much and I like it so this one is like more my uh, some kind of memories for my childhood when I was playing Fallout games this one is like something I enjoyed from the design perspective and I just had an idea okay so here we have also some pieces here so maybe I can already uh, put it there and we also have the batteries and I'm very much wondering what I can do with those batteries so stay tuned I will just do it now I am back and I actually uh, changed uh, the tripod here so I can continue my review and even if this will not be stabilized I think I can still continue so what I will do next is uh, I will just take out those uh, side mirrors. Maybe I will use scissors yeah, because it's much faster and more professional. <laughs> and I want to keep this channel as much professional as possible. Okay, so we have the first one. And I'm not sure if I need to use the glue. And also if this would kind of... <laughs> okay. So it should be a little bit up here yeah, in the upper position. So is it easy actually to to implement it, to assemble it? Yeah, it looks like it's quite easy to do that. So no big troubles. And I will do the same also here on the other side. And obviously I don't even need glue, yeah, so it's really holds in the position it looks great but i'm still wondering why do i have batteries and for that purpose maybe oh look look at that this is a brand new feature i was not aware of look at that this is awesome so you can <laughs> maybe you remember my renault magnum review where i was trying to do this to see the engine it was not possible but here somehow it is possible and the engine is so great look at that you really need to see it wow look at that so it's eight cylinder engine and nice exhaust and all the details wow but where can i put the batteries this is still a mystery for me so obviously i can remove this Maybe let me just again remove the side mirrors. I will put them here and I will check here. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'm doing it very gently and I see that I need a screwdriver and luckily I have one here. So yeah, let me now put the batteries inside yeah, it's not so usual that I would have a car with batteries. The last one was the police Ford Crown Victoria, which also had working lights. This can be a second car which I review and will have something uh, with electricity. Okay, so it should be enough. I can still I can't still remove that. Another attempt. Wow, it's so 
<laughs> you know what? I will do another thing. I will do this. And I will just be very careful when doing that. Okay, now it's much better. So now let's let me take the batteries out. So we have three and put them just in the car. And I'm wondering how this will be working, yeah? So again Actually, did I tell you about the price? It was 179 euro, yeah, including the shipping. So not really cheap, but not really expensive. So something somewhere in the middle. And considering that this is a uh, 3,000 pieces limited edition, it's not so bad. Yeah, I liked it quite quite a lot. Mm -hmm. And now, is there any uh, on and off button here? I don't actually see anything like that. So maybe either the batteries are in or out and there is no control. I hope there is some control. Okay, so this is great. Now, what can I do to... Wow, look at that, the engine is now... Uh, there is a light on the engine, but where is some kind of... Control, uh, look at that, there's a, a wire here leading somewhere to the front, but how can I activate that? It's real, real mystery for me. Yeah? So for me, who has never seen a truck like that, it's really difficult to find out how, how to activate it. So maybe let me again check the cabin here. Ah, okay, all right, all right, now I got it. I got it. So the thing is that when you open the door, see, the light turns on. When you close it, it turns off. So there is a sensor somewhere behind the door. What about the second door? Is it also working? Yeah, also. So there is a sensor in both of the doors. And now, I'm not sure how this works. So now, Okay, so there is also a sensor uh, below or beneath the cabin and when you just uh, do this, when you uh, pull it up, then the light will start shining here. So you can see that this is now nice blue, so all the blue details. Maybe in the dark it would be even better, yeah? So now there is enough light here, so the effect is not so, not so great, but in the dark maybe it would be much better and then of course when you open it on off on off okay nice nice detail so i really have not expected this now let me also check um uh, all the papers here all the paperwork so i need to fill in some papers uh to be eligible to drive this car or what <laughs> all right so stickers I don't like them I'll take it somewhere here and now let me just see what is actually in the package and I will do it very slowly yeah okay maybe I, I will need some frame for all those things uh, frame would be cool so first I already mentioned there is this uh, license or certificate of ownership and you can also see something like here um, and the chassis number okay and actually okay now i know who manufactured this car it's chrysler it's like chrysler but it's a little bit different chrysler yeah so <laughs> it's funny v8 heavy truck commercial uh we have the weight permitted the year model 2062 very nice there is also this uh, postcard. Wow, you can put a stamp here. You can read some some uh, 
Nice text here. Bringing your favorite soda, Mr. Yoda. Okay, and then we have this delivery truck service menu from Perfect for when you need a delivery of sweet refreshment. Uh, <laughs> okay, and here you can see that uh, this is the compartment for the batteries, and here you can see the batteries, how to insert them. You can also license the truck, and I will of course do that. I will license my truck on this website, so I will just register it and see what will happen. And I will do it before I release this video, so that you cannot register uh, with my code, which will probably be somewhere here. I haven't seen it, but it will be somewhere. And then this new Coca-Cola Corporation, Mr. Carl Wallace, driver number, dear Carl, congratulations. Actually, I'm not Carl. Okay, and then uh, I will read this maybe later, uh, but I like it. That's some kind of certificate as well. All right, so I think that's it. Uh, just maybe the last look here. Yeah, one will go here. The second one either in the front. Yeah, but you tell me in the comment that it's not mandatory that people uh, or that cars in the US have this in the front. Or the second idea that I had is to put the license here, license plate right here. Uh, okay, so that's where it's supposed to be. Wow, so interesting, so many things, so many details, and thank you for watching as always. I will also rate this one, so wait for it. I already like it so much, so maybe it will get quite a high rating, I'm not sure yet. Uh, and then I will display it in some of my uh, dioramas or just in the shelves, I'm not sure, yeah, somewhere uh, where it's a little bit dust, uh, dust protected. Okay, so thank you for watching and see you next time. Bye-bye.